Which of the angels did God ever say? Sit now at my right hand till your enemies obey. They all shall lay asunder underneath your feet. They all shall lay asunder for them you shall defeat, oh yes, yes then you shall defeat. Come, sweet spirit, our rain. Come, be my strength and your power. Come, in our own chain. brother said he said let's just relax in the Lord and that's what I just want you to do because that's what I want to do tonight you know I'm not here to perform for you guys uh, you know even if it was a big big meeting you know I really try to have a, a mindset that you know we, we've got a ministry and what I'm doing is I am performing but I'm performing the Word of God and so you know it's a holy this is a holy ministry that we have and I don't confess to stand up here and even be, I'm not worthy to do what I'm doing, you know. But how many of us are even worthy to be Christians, you know. I mean, we're here because God's grace. And, you know, we've just, we're just somehow, <laughs> a light came on and we understood and we accepted what Jesus did. And it's a miracle. It's really a miracle that we're even Christians. And I'm just so glad just to be a part of the family of God. And, you know, I, if I just get up there, even after all, I, all that I do for the Lord, if I'm even, like King David said, if I'm just a doorkeeper, I'll be a joy, I'll be the happiest doorkeeper there ever was. You know? <laughs> so, you know, let's just um, stay focused on the fact that um, we're just here to serve each other. <laughs> let's just pray. And, uh, Lord Jesus, I just thank you for tonight. Thank you, Lord, that... That you love us, Lord, with an undescribable love, and Lord, that uh, you're holy and you're great, and even though you created the whole universe, you care about us. Even King David said, what is man that thou art mindful of him? But thank you, Lord, that you are mindful of us, and you love us, and I pray that you're, you're a special anointing on me tonight. I'm one of yours, and I just pray that you'll use my gifts, use my heart, use Whatever I have here tonight to bless your people, because at the end of the day, that's what it's all about. I just pray that your church and others around the world will be blessed by what we do here tonight. In the name of Jesus, we claim it and decree it. And like my dear brother said before I got up, let this be a night of destiny in the name of Jesus. Amen. Remember those earlier days? after you had received the light, when you stood your ground in a great contest in the face of suffering, sometimes you were publicly exposed to insult and persecution. At other times, you stood side by side with those who were so treated. You sympathized with those in prison and joyfully accepted the confiscation of your property because you knew that you yourselves had better and lasting possessions. So do not throw away your confidence. It will be richly rewarded. You need to persevere so that when you have done the will of God, you will receive what he has promised. For in just a little while, he who is coming will come and will not delay. But my righteous one will live by faith. And if he shrinks back, I will not be pleased with him. But we are not of those who shrink back and are destroyed, but of those who believe and are saved. Now, faith is being sure of what we hope for and certain of what we do not see. This is what the ancients were commended for. By faith, we understand that the universe was formed at God's command, 
so that what is seen was not made out of what was visible. By faith, Abel offered God a better sacrifice than Cain did. By faith, he was commended as a righteous man when God spoke well of his offerings. <clears throat> and by faith, he still speaks, even though he is dead. By faith, Enoch was taken from this life so that he did not experience death. <laughs> he could not be found because God had taken him away. For before he was taken, he was commended as one who pleased God. And without faith, it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. By faith, Noah, when warned about things not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark to save his family. By his faith, he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness that comes by faith. By faith, Abraham, when called to go to a place he would later receive as his inheritance, obeyed and went, even though he did not know where he was going. By faith, he made his home in the promised land, like a stranger in a foreign country. He lived in tents, as did Isaac and Jacob, who were heirs with him of the same promise. For he was looking forward to the city with foundations, whose architect and builder is God. By faith, Abraham, even though he was past age and Sarah herself was barren, was enabled to become a father because he considered him faithful who had made the promise. And so, from this one man, and he as good as dead, came descendants as numerous as the stars in the sky, and as countless as the sand on the seashore. All these people were still living by faith when they died. They did not receive the things promised. They only saw them and welcomed them from a distance. And they admitted that they were aliens and strangers on the earth. People who say such things show that they are looking for a country of their own. <laughs> if they had been thinking of the country they had left, they would have had opportunity to return. Instead, they were longing for a better country, a heavenly one. Therefore, God is not ashamed to be called their God, for he has prepared a city for them. By faith, <clears throat> Abraham, when God tested him, offered Isaac as a sacrifice. He who had received the promises was about to sacrifice his one and only son, even though God had said to him, It is through Isaac that your offspring will be reckoned. Abraham reasoned that God could raise the dead. <laughs> and figuratively speaking, he did receive Isaac back. From death. By faith, Isaac blessed Jacob and Esau in regard to their future. By faith, Jacob, when he was dying, blessed each of Joseph's sons and worshipped as he leaned on the top of his staff. 
By faith, Joseph, when his end was near, spoke about the exodus of the Israelites from Egypt and gave instructions about his bones. By faith, Moses' parents hid him for three months after he was born because they saw that he was no ordinary child. And they were not afraid of the king's edict. By faith, Moses, when he had grown up, refused to be known as the son of Pharaoh's daughter. <clears throat> he chose to be mistreated along with the people of God rather than to enjoy the pleasures of sin for a short time. He regarded disgrace for the sake of Christ as of more value than the treasures of Egypt because he was looking ahead to his reward. By faith, he left Egypt, not fearing the king's anger. He persevered because he saw him who is invisible. By faith, he kept the Passover and the sprinkling of blood so that the destroyer of the firstborn would not touch the firstborn of Israel. By faith, the people passed through the Red Sea as on dry land. But when the Egyptians tried to do so, they were drowned. By faith, the walls of Jericho fell after the people had marched around them for seven days. By faith, the prostitute, Rahab, because she welcomed the spies, was not killed with those who were disobedient. <laughs> and what more shall I say? I do not have time to tell about Gideon, Barak, Samson, Japheth, David, Samuel, and the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms, administered justice, and gained what was promised, who shut the mouths of lions, quenched the fury of the flames, and escaped the edge of the sword, whose weakness was turned to strength, and who became powerful in battle and routed foreign armies. Women received back their dead, raised to life again. Others were tortured and refused to be released so that they might gain a better resurrection. Some faced jeers and floggings, while still others were chained and put in prison. They were stoned. They were sawed in two. They were put to death by the sword. They went about in sheepskins and goatskins, destitute, persecuted, and mistreated. The world was not worthy of them. They wandered in deserts and mountains and in caves and holes in the ground. These were all commended for their faith. Yet, None of them received what had been promised. God had planned something better for us so that only together with us would they be made perfect. Therefore, since we are surrounded by such a great cloud of witnesses, let us throw off everything that hinders and the sin that so easily entangles and let us run with perseverance the race marked out for us let us fix our eyes on Jesus the author and perfecter of our faith who for the joy set before him endured the cross scorning its shame and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him.
who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. In your struggle against sin, you have not yet resisted to the point of shedding your blood. Mm. You have not come to a physical mountain, mm. to a place of flaming fire, darkness, gloom, and whirlwind, as the Israelites did at Mount Sinai when God gave them his laws. For they heard an awesome trumpet blast and a voice with a message so terrible that they begged God to stop speaking. They staggered back under God's command. If even an animal touches the mountain, it must be stoned to death. Moses himself was so frightened at the sight that he said, I am terrified and trembling. But you have come to Mount Zion, to the heavenly Jerusalem, the city of the living God. You have come to thousands upon thousands of angels in joyful assembly, to the church of the firstborn, whose names are written in heaven. You have come to God, the judge of all men, to the spirits of righteous men made perfect. You have come to Jesus the one who mediates the new covenant between God and man, and to the sprinkled blood which graciously forgives instead of crying out for vengeance as the blood of Abel did. Therefore, since we are receiving a kingdom that cannot be shaken, let us be thankful and so, worship God acceptably, with reverence and awe. For our God is a consuming fire. Let brotherly love continue. Do not neglect to show hospitality to strangers, for thereby some have entertained angels unawares. Remember those in prison as if you were their fellow prisoners, and those who are mistreated as if you yourselves were suffering. Marriage should be honored by all, and the marriage bed kept pure, for God will judge the adulterer and all the sexually immoral. See to it that there is no love of money in your lives, and be content with what you have. For it is God himself who has said, I will never desert you, never abandon you. Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. Now may the God of peace, who brought up from the dead our Lord Jesus, the great shepherd of the sheep, and ratified an eternal covenant with his blood, equip you with everything good for doing his will. And may he work in us what is pleasing to him. Amen. Through Jesus Christ, to whom be glory forever and ever. Amen.
May God's grace be with you all. Okay. Now that was meat. Yes. That really inspired, that fed our spirits. And uh, we would like to thank you for coming tonight. Thank you, brother. Uh, this was something really very, very special. And you know that the faith that they had could only be perfected with us because there is a better covenant. God having provided something better for us than what they had. Yes. And that, that's wonderful. So uh, I wonder if you realize this. You are a champion of faith. Amen. But you know that. Because what those champions had in the Old, Te Old Testament, we've got better. Say to yourself, I'm a champion in faith. I'm a champion in faith. No, I want you to say it because you believe it. I'm a champion of faith. I'm a champion of faith. Amen. <laughs> Wonderful. Yes. And um, uh, we're going to build on this thing. I am the stone rejected that some have thrown away. Oh, yes, some have thrown away. I am the root of David. I am the Holy One. I am the King of Zion. I am God's Son. Son. To which of the angels did God ever say, You are my son in whom I love, with you I am well pleased. You roll away the heavens as a robe is put away. You shall never change, oh yes, you shall never change. You are the great Messiah, you are the Son of Man, you are the King of David, you are the great I Am, oh, you are the Great I am. Yes, behold, I am coming. So please stay awake. For like a thief I shall arrive. Please make no mistake. Oh, please make no mistake. I am the stone rejected that some have thrown away, oh yes, some have thrown away. I am the root of David, I am the Holy One, I am the King of Zion, I am God's Son, oh yes, I am God's Son.